，尊敬的各位来宾，各位媒体的朋友们，大家下午好。呃，欢迎大家来到我们今天的轻喜剧《小心肝儿华》媒体新闻发布会。我们今天非常荣幸的有很多的嘉宾来支持我们，我们有我们高嘉华的周议员 Chris Smith 先生。Uh, we're very honored to have so many VIP guests today. First of all, we have Mr. Chris Mills. 呃、uh, ，我们乔治合适市长 Kevin Green 先生。And the mayor of the city council, Kevin Green. 然后，新州肝炎协会总裁 Stuart Loveday 先生。The CEO of Hepatitis New South Wales, Mr. Stuart Loveday. 然后，新州卫生部的肝炎呃病副教授 Amani Zachary 女士。Uh, Associate Professor Amani Zakri from the South Eastern Sydney Local Health District. 同时还有我们也非常荣幸的有我们的活动的主呃协办方华安服务社的 Maria 呃执行总经理女士。Uh, the Chief Operations Officer from the Chinese As um Association Services Society. 呃，同时我们今天还有我们的这个演出团队的代表陈杰先生。Um, and we also have Mr. Jackie Chang, who is from the Australian Arts Assembly. 同同样，我们今天还有在座的这么多华文的媒体朋友，在此呃对大家的到来表示感谢。Um, and we'd also like to thank all our media friends for coming here today. 呃，首先我们请我们的周议员 Chris Mins 先生给大家致辞。First of all, we would like to invite Mr. Chris Mins, who is a member of Parliament, to speak to us today. Well, thank you very much. It's a real um, privilege to be here to speak to members of the Chinese Australian media about this incredibly important issue uh, and really raise awareness in the Chinese Australian community. Uh, we have representatives from the Area Health Service, from uh, our council, our mayor, uh, the first mayor of George Trooper Council, uh, Kevin Marine, uh, Hepatitis New South Wales, and our good friends at CAS. And uh, we are all here to talk about this great production and also. Uh, raise awareness in, excuse me, in the Chinese Australian community about hepatitis B. Running out of which has disproportionately high rates in the Chinese community. And um, to the extent that we can raise awareness and even positively affect the quality of life of even one or two local residents, it's definitely worthwhile. And uh, it's your privilege to be here and be part of it. So thank you very much for coming. Uh. 我们这一次小新歌儿轻喜剧活动，同样也得到了乔治河市市政府的大力的支持，所以我们今天也非常荣幸能够请到乔治河市的市长 Kevin Green 先生。下面请 Kevin Green 先生给我们大家致辞。Uh, thank you very much, James. Just on behalf of uh, council, I'd like to firstly thank all our distinguished guests for joining us uh, today for what is a, a very important announcement. And certainly, George Trimmer Council is pleased to be able to provide uh, our venue uh, for this production that will take place on Saturday, the 21st of April. And uh, as a council, we obviously want to uh, see our community uh, given a wide variety of opportunities uh, to learn, whether it be in health or in any other aspect of uh, community life. And certainly, there is no more important message uh, than the, uh, the health message. And uh, that's why our council is uh, so pleased to be able to provide this venue. And most importantly, uh, we're pleased uh, that uh, so many groups have come together as I say, we'll hear from the Associate Professor, we'll also hear from, uh, from Stuart. Uh, these are the medical experts. Uh, we're just involved from a community perspective, but might I say, um, we deem it an honour uh, to have the opportunity to, uh, to share in this important health message, uh, which is uh, such esteemed people, and uh, certainly whatever we can do, and uh, to Stuart and uh, Associate Professor, uh, we say, uh, we're here to offer our support because health messages, whether they be for the young or the old, uh, are always something we need to get out there. Finally, might I say, uh, isn't it fantastic that we're able to provide an important message in, uh, in a setting that's not so intimidating? By that I mean, 
by having a, an educational comedy uh, which has a deeper important message uh, hopefully we're able to uh, get that message across even better so congratulations to all involved thank you uh, thank you very much, Mr. Green. Now we would like to invite Mr. Loveday from Hepatitis New South Wales to speak. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I would like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land we're meeting on today um, and pay my respects to their elders of both past and present. Um, my name is Stuart Loveday. I'm the CEO of Hepatitis New South Wales and I'm very proud um, on behalf of Hepatitis New South Wales and the community to present this play, which is produced in partnership with our long-term partner, the Chinese Australian Services Society, or CAT, um, and the Australian Arts Assembly, or AAA. The play is a result of a Hepatitis B grant uh, for the Chinese community, and that uh, comes from a community grant under Hepatitis New South Wales, Hepatitis B Community Education Project, administered by Hepatitis Australia, and funded, and we thank them, by the Australian Government, um, Department of Health under the BBB, Bloodborne Viruses and STIs uh, program. Um, it was also partially sponsored by Southeastern Sydney LHD, and may we thank your council for providing the venue. Hepatitis B and the Chinese community. The Chinese community um, in Australia is a priority population for Hepatitis B. Globally, between 8 and 10% of Chinese people are living with chronic or ongoing hepatitis B. So, to improve the overall well-being of Chinese Australians, we aim to increase hepatitis B testing, diagnosis, treatment, and vaccination in the community. But what's the play about? The play, to achieve this goal um, of increasing all those things in hep B, we educate the Chinese community about hepatitis B in a straightforward and effective manner. Last year, when we showed a shorter version of the play in Asheville, um, many audience members said they had learned a lot and requested to have this sort of education event in the future. Hence our decision to further develop the play and present it to a larger audience this year. Now, we will be showing the play in Hurstville at the, Mar at the Marana Auditorium on Saturday, the 21st of April, at 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Now, we chose to show the production in Hurstville because it has a large, a very large Chinese community, and this area, therefore, has very high hepatitis B representation. On average, there are 350 hepatitis B notifications per year in this local health district. And people born in China represent 23 of those notifications. Also, Hurstville has one of the highest notification rates in the district. So to add to this, there's going to be a testing day, a special testing day. Thanks to South East and Sydney Local Health District, we will also be offering a free Hepatitis B testing day on Thursday, the 26th of April, at the Oatley Community Hall. Now, this will include free Hepatitis B blood tests, and free fibre scan test. That, that's a test that measures if the liver is badly damaged or not. Those who are interested in free testing will need to attend the play and register their interest then. So please remember that the only way to diagnose hepatitis B is by doing a hepatitis B blood test. So we strongly encourage everyone who is unsure of their hepatitis B status to receive hep B testing from their doctor or from a health centre. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Loveday. I would now like to invite Associate Professor Amani Zakri to speak to us. Um, thank you very much. I'm here on behalf of South Eastern Sydney and also as a clinician who's involved in treating um, hepatitis in our district. I'd like to thank uh, Hepatitis Australia for actually providing the opportunity to do this play and, and the council for providing the venue for it and of course you know for politicians to be engaged and interested in this is very exciting for a clinician as you know so thank you very much and also for me it's an opportunity perhaps to give a uh, um, clinical flavor to the importance of this play and it echoes what Stuart Loveday had just said 
Um, the flat must be the Chinese population is a big issue. And um, some of you would know that there was a publication from Australia that showed that um, death from liver cancer in this context is disproportionately high among Chinese in the Australian population. So it's an important fact to know that um, in southeastern Sydney there is at least 10,000 people who have hepatitis B and more are still undiagnosed. So I would encourage people to take the test that uh, allow them to know about the hepatitis B status because in a proportion, and it's actually a significant proportion of people when left untreated will get liver cancer and will get um, liver damage which may require um, you know, intervention and liver transplant. So it's important also to recognize that hepatitis B is completely preventable by vaccination. So it's a disease which potentially can be eliminated by vaccination. We have a vaccination for hepatitis B, unlike hepatitis C. And even if uh, it has been acquired, we have treatment that can stop uh, people progressing into complications such as liver cancer and so forth. There is a stigma associated with hepatitis B, which I'm hoping this play would address. And, um, and we are very active in our district and um, in Australia generally in addressing the stigma associated with hepatitis B. And the community, as a clinician, I see this stigma stopping people presenting earlier. And if we actually try as a group and work together in addressing the stigma and eliminating it in the society or the community, we would have more people coming forward for presentation and for clinical advice that would stop complications that we see in young people as young as 30 and 40 with liver cancer in the context of happy. So please encourage the community and again on behalf of South Eastern Sydney, we're very proud to be part of this initiative and we're very happy to provide testing for hepatitis B, testing for liver for, by a mobile machine where there's liver scarring or not. It takes about five minutes. And accordingly, you can give advice on forward plan. And if anyone would like require clinical advice, please let us know. We have a clinic which just serves the community and will be more than happy to be at your service. So thank you very much. Thank you, Assistant Professor Zekri. I would like now to invite Ms. Chen from CAS to speak to us. Thank you. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we gathered on today and pay my respects to the elders past and present. CAS has been working with Hepatitis NSW to promote the awareness of Hepatitis B in the Chinese community for many years already. And through greater awareness and by encouraging the community to discuss these issues, we can definitely help to address the epidemic. Mm -hmm. And however, one big issue, as I said, is that there are the big barrier to the work is the stigma. And the stigma on people who is living with um, Hepatitis B and also their families. People are afraid that if they find that they are hepatitis B carriers, they may be rejected by others. Thus, CAS is very delighted to work with hepatitis NSW and also the Australian Arts uh, Assembly on this play so that members of the Chinese community will obtain more relevant information without language barrier. And here I will hope the play every success. Thank you. And if you don't mind, I would like to say a few words in Mandarin. <laughs> 多年来华府社跟这个新州干研协会了我们在华语社区已经在大力的推广对干研的律师我们看见街上工作最大的障碍是那是对乙肝的患者而且他们的家族的歧视他们担心如果他们是 乙肝的患者或者是大菌者呢在此我引出这个演出成功,谢谢。谢谢。Um, now I'm going to speak in English just for a little bit. I'm going to invite Mr. Jackie Chang, who is um, a representative of the Australian Arts Assembly, to speak to us today. I'm going to be translating for him, um, so I'm going to speak in Mandarin from now on. Um, 
我现在就要邀请陈杰老师来代表澳洲文化议会来跟我们说几句话，谢谢。嗯，作为一名海外华人，尤其呢。曾经是从事文艺工作的海外华人，嗯、呃，在悉尼带领着这个艺术团队，能参加，呃，新州干协会这样一个非常有意义的活动，我们感到非常的荣幸。Uh, as a Chinese person living abroad in Australia and as someone who has worked in the arts industry in the past, I feel very honored. To be working with hepatitis New South Wales to be、uh, decreasing the stigma of hepatitis B in the Chinese community. 非常感谢，呃，感恩协会的给予这个平台，非常感谢，呃，乔治河的市政府和周议员的大力支持。I'm very thankful to Hepatitis New South Wales for offering us this platform. To promote hepatitis B awareness in the Chinese community, and I'm also very thankful to George's River Council for your support in this activity. 嗯，我代表我们团队，一定把这场活动，把这场节目，演好，尽尽我们所能，尽力把它完成好。谢谢。As a representative of the Australian Arts Assembly, I will try my hardest, along with my colleagues, to fulfil the expectations that we have set for ourselves. Thank you. 谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢谢大家。谢